liner is if you want to load up and go see your granddaughter for the weekend, you just attach it to the back of your car, throw in some extra clothes and some new toys for the baby and some snacks and you're on the road. It's Saturday, I'm gonna go spend the night, get to snuggle with her in the morning and then load up and come home. But it sure is nice having the freedom of the A-liner. So here I am. Okay, I can back it in there. Where are you going? In where your you, front yard. Wherever you want to go. <laughs> All right, got her backed into the yard. Get ready to unhook her. Hey. There she is. There's the gold at the end of the rainbow. That's my little Adley. She is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> So here I have her tucked into my son's front yard, got it plugged into his power so I can have my wonder fan up there blowing the heat out because it's warm. Got a little bit of shade on it so my door doesn't swell up and want to stay open. But this is a comfortable little weekend getaway. Pretty nice. Having a great time with my granddaughter. And sadly, all things must come to an end, and Grandma's got to pack up and go home. Stopping for a break on the way home, down at the river, getting in a RX bar and some uh, Lipton's tea hold me over for the journey home. It's actually pretty nice down here by the river. It's like going to Gram Grandma's house over the river and through the woods. So when I'm traveling on the road with my A-liner and I see another A-liner, I feel like I'm in a special group and I catch myself doing this with my fingers, which is what bikers do when they see other bikers. And I think it means keep two wheels on the road. So if you got an A-liner out there or at least another pop-up, keep two wheels on the road. So on this trip, this weekend trip to my granddaughter's, I'm tootling along on the back roads, heading to her house, and I feel something flickering on my shoulder. And you know, I'm driving along, got both hands on the wheel. I look down, like there's a bug in here. So I re go over to, I look, take my eyes off the road to roll my window down. And as I do, I see the bug fly across my line of vision and land on the, <laughs> the door. And it's a wasp, a great big yellow and black wasp. Thank God, it is literally the grace of God, I was able to keep my act together and stay safe on the road. I slowed down, luckily, like I said, I was on the back roads. Um, I, I was able to get my window rolled down so that the wasp flew out. But I gotta tell you, had I been any more, I can't even, I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful I did not freak out, hit my brakes, swerve off the road, and total my vehicle. It would have been a different outcome this weekend. So be safe out there and keep it together, ladies. Wow, it's a hot day in the Willamette Valley. Well, I got her home. I got her parked back in the garage. And I just wanted to encourage you to not follow my poor example of videotaping while I'm driving. Um, there's no justification for it. It's not safe. Um, I do it occasionally on the very back roads that I live on that have a wide shoulder. I'm going relatively slow and I'm cautious that there's no other cars around me when I'm doing it. And I try to pull over if I want to tape and record what's going on. And I vow to do better at this going forward because I would hate to have someone get hurt. It only takes a second, one second of being distracted from driving to um, risk your life your vehicle's life and other drivers on the road. And so be safe out there and happy travels.